Mastering everyday English. Watering the plants, explained. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a common phrase that pops up in daily conversations, watering the plants. It's a simple task, but there's more to this phrase than meets the eye. So, let's get into it and make sure you never get lost in translation again. Watering the plants refers to the act of pouring water on plant soil to provide the necessary hydration plants need to grow. It's a routine part of gardening and plant care, ensuring that plants receive enough moisture to absorb the nutrients they need from the soil. This phrase is used both literally, in the context of actual gardening, and metaphorically, in various aspects of life and work. Water is as vital to plants as food and air are to humans. Without adequate water, plants can't perform photosynthesis, the process they use to turn sunlight into energy. This section explains why regularly watering plants is crucial, touching on the signs of underwatering, such as wilting leaves and dry soil, and the risks of overwatering, like root rot. Not all plants have the same water needs. In this section, we'll go over tips for effective watering, including checking the soil moisture before watering, using room temperature water to avoid shocking the plant's roots, the best times of day to water plants, usually early morning or late afternoon, to reduce evaporation and maximize absorption. Observing the water requirements of different plants since some need more water than others. Beyond gardening, watering the plants can metaphorically refer to nurturing relationships or projects. Just as plants need water to thrive, relationships and personal endeavors require time and attention. This section explores how this phrase enriches our language, allowing us to express the concept of care and growth in various contexts. We hope this exploration of watering the plants enriches your English vocabulary and helps you appreciate the depth of everyday phrases. Remember, learning a language is like gardening. It needs patience, care, and regular attention. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.